Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The sum from i equals 0 to n of i squared is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6 for all natural numbers n. Now, since we're trying to prove a statement about every natural number, let's use induction. So let's start with the base case. Now in the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. So really, this is what we're trying to prove. So let's start by writing the left-hand side. Now since the lower and upper bound of the sum are the same, we know that this entire sum is just going to be equal to 0 squared. And this is just equal to 0, and it's pretty clear that 0 is equal to this, because 0 times anything gives us 0. So as you can see, we have shown that this is equal to this, which completes the base case. So now, let's move on to the induction step. Now, in the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary natural number n, where this is true. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is true, where instead of n, we replace everywhere we see an n with n plus 1. So really, what we're trying to prove here is... this. And really, notice, we took everywhere we see an n and replaced it with n plus 1. So, to show that this is true, let me start off by writing the left-hand side. Now, since n plus 1 is strictly greater than 0, we can pull away the n plus 1th term from this sum and rewrite it as the sum from i equals 0 to n of i squared plus the n plus 1th term of this sum, which is n plus 1 squared. But remember, this guy is equal to this. So let's replace this guy with this. Now remember, the whole goal is to show that this guy is equal to this. And this is a single fraction. So maybe we should combine this all into a single fraction. Well, to do that, let's get a common denominator. Right here, we have a denominator of 6. So here, we also want a denominator of 6. So let's multiply and divide by 6. And now we can combine these two guys into a single fraction. But then notice, one of the factors in the numerator is n plus 1. So let's factor out an n plus 1. If we factor out an n plus 1, what are we going to get? Well, for the first term, we're going to have n times 2n plus 1. For the second term, we're going to have 6 times n plus 1. And now let's just distribute across this parentheses, and let's distribute across this parentheses. Now we see that this is just equal to 2n squared plus 7n plus 6. And then from algebra, we can factor this, right? That was good. Right? Really? This guy is just equal to n plus 2 times 2n plus 3. And then we see that n plus 2 is precisely n plus 1 plus 1, and 2n plus 3 is precisely 2 times n plus 1 plus 1. So, through this chain of equalities, we have shown that this is equal to this, which is precisely what we wanted to show. That was the whole goal of the induction step, so this completes the induction step. And because we've proven both the base case and the induction step, we have shown by mathematical induction that for all natural numbers n, this is true. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove, so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.